And on that note, we now have the pleasure of welcoming in UFC President Dana White here on Daily Wager. Dana, thanks for taking the time. Look, we go back 15 years. You always have been a proponent of sports betting. And here we are. Nearly half the states have legalized betting. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's about time. I like it. Um, uh, you know, it's obviously a thing that people love to do. It, it makes uh, whatever you're watching a lot more fun and a lot more interesting. So uh, yeah, I've always been for it. But I'm from Vegas, so what do you want? And the rest of the country is finally following suit. I want to talk specifically about the UFC. It's always among the top five annually in terms of total money bet compared to other sports. So it's definitely among the most. Just what kind of role do you think uh, betting plays in the popularity growth of the UFC? I, I think it's a big deal. Uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, it creates more. When, when you put together a fight and you build a fight, it's like the fight – uh, on Saturday night, you have Usman, who is the world champion. He's defending his title. What's at stake? Obviously, the title, and he's gonna uh, possibly break George St. Pierre's win streak record, and the list goes on and on. So there's always an interest in what's at stake. What's in? But when you bet on the fight, you know there's always a rooting interest. And another layer to the kind of context of any fight is the live lines. You've started uh, showing those during a broadcast. What's your reaction there? I love it. I, I, I just think it makes the entire experience uh, a lot more fun. And, and that's not just for the TV audience. About you, like when you're going into a fight week and how often do you look at the betting lines just from a curiosity, like what are the odds makers? How are they gauging this fight? Yeah, no, I always do. Uh, on, every, on every sport that I'm interested in, if, if I'm watching a game on Saturday, I want to know what the line is, whether it's college uh, or pros, and, and, and always, I always look at the line on fights. All right, let's go to a personal level here. You've mentioned you've always been sort of a fan of betting. When was your first bet? Well, that's a good question. Um, I don't remember exactly what my first bet was, but if I had to guess, it would have been on a Patriots game. Obviously, growing up in the Boston area uh, when you were younger. So uh, what about a bet that still bothers you to this day? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, what was the kid's name? Uh, the fighter, huh? Jermaine Taylor. And who did he fight? I should know this for the ass whooping I took. He fought the white kid, the, the, the tall, lanky white kid from Ohio. Kelly Pavlik. I bet a million dollars on Taylor. And uh, he got destroyed. And that was the first time I'd ever bet a million dollars because I was so confident that Taylor was going to win that fight. Oh, well, sorry to uh, stir the pot there on some bad memories. How about happier thoughts? What's the one that will always keep a smile and put a smile on your face? George Foreman uh, knocked out Michael Moore, and that's back when I was broke. And uh, I bet a lot of money on it considering how much money I didn't have. And when he caught him, I was in a room full of people, and it looked like Michael Moore was just going to cruise and destroy him. And when Michael Moore went down, the whole room erupted, and everybody jumped on top of me, and we were all going crazy. It was, it was, a, it was a huge win for me at that time. Uh, yes, we all remember those, those good ones. Uh, it's not just betting on sports. You've been known to uh, frequent the casino here and there. Uh, how often do you play table games? I play table games too much. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a degenerate. If you can't, if, if you if you're not getting the, you know, the, the vibe, I'm a degenerate. Yes, I love to gamble. Nonsense, nonsense. You can handle it. You obviously you can budget it appropriately. So uh, I guess what's the longest you've gone without a single bet? Sports bet, table games. What's the longest you've gone without a single bet? Probably seven, eight months. It was during COVID. <laughs> it was during COVID. I went. You could you couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't do anything. So I didn't. Yeah, made us all reevaluate our day-to-day -day, uh, entertainment, so to speak. Well, Dana, thanks so much for taking the time. Best of luck with the card this weekend and moving forward. I know uh, we are a fan of uh, all things betting here on the show, so we appreciate you uh, pulling back the curtain a little bit for us. All right, buddy. Thank you.